Hello, so let's revisit the bipolar junction transistor. And we are going to explore the two types that is NPN and a PNP transistor. So as you can see from the arrow, the direction of the current which the arrow indicates classifies whether the transistor is NPN or PNP. So essentially first, this is a collector terminal. This is a base terminal. This is an emitter terminal. So if your arrow is pointing outwards from the emitter, it is an NPN transistor. Similarly, this is a collector, this is your base terminal, and this is your emitter. And if the arrow is pointing inwards from the emitter, it is a PNP transistors. And together, they are all bipolar transistors. Why do we call it as a bipolar? Because the current conduction in BJT is because of two types of charge carriers. One is electrons and another is holes. These are the positive and negative type of charge carriers. So we have seen this explanation in a lot of our earlier videos. Right now our focus is to explain the terminals the direction of the current flow and the voltages. So let us try to indicate. So the current that will flow in the collector is called as IC. The current that will flow into the base is called as IB. The current that will flow out of the emitter is IE. So actually the current flows from collector to the emitter and that is the NPN transistor. Now you can uh, see that there are voltages. The voltage at the collector is VC, voltage at base is VB and voltage at emitter is VE. Okay. Similarly, for the PNP transistor, the voltage at the collector will be VC, voltage at the base will be VB, and voltage at the emitter will be VE, and the direction of the currents will be just opposite to the direction of currents in NPN. So IE will be indicated like this. IC will be indicated like this and the IB is going to be indicated like this. Now there are some formulas that I want to introduce to you. That is the collector current IC is IB times beta where beta is the DC current gain. Okay, beta is your DC current gain. And this is how your amplification takes place. You apply a voltage VB to the base and that makes the junction, we are going to explain that in a moment, forward bias, that is the base emitter junction, which makes the IB current flow through the transistor and the inherent DC gain of the transistor, which is beta, multiplies the IB with this factor and therefore the IC is multiple times the IB, usually 50 to 100 times depending on the transistor. We also can say that IC would be equal to IB plus IE or I will be equal to IC minus IB. So you see, if you apply the KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, the outgoing current is IE 
incoming currents are IC and IB. That's why this equation fits in. And these equations are applicable to both NPN and the PNP transistor. Usually, we are going to now, I'm going to tell you another factor. For example, here, the voltage between base and the emitter for NPN transistor is called as VBE, which is approximately 0.7 volt for a silicon transistor. The voltage across the collector and the emitter is called as VCE. The voltage from collector to base is called as VBC. Okay, or VCV depends. Usually, it should be called as VCB, but I have written as VBC. Okay, take a magnitude. Similarly, here you see the voltage here would be VBC with base positive and this one is negative. Let me correct that. Oh, oops. So, let me try it again. And yeah, this is VCE and let's change the color. Yeah, and now the voltage here will be VCE. That is VCE or VEC. Because we are referring positive with respect to negative emitter and the and here it would be like negative positive V E B E B E. So you can write this uh, type of convention but for a simplicity you can keep the voltages uh, same for example you call it as uh, V B C that's correct you call it as a V C E also call it VCE, you call it is simply VBE, which is same as your NPN transistor. Now coming back to our equation, so VBE, we know that for a transistor approximately 0 0.7 volt, if it is a silicon transistor, if it is germanium transistor, it's usually 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 volts. The base emitter junction, VBC, base to collector junction right here base to collector junction is reverse biased is reverse biased so these are all basics one needs to do with the formulas when you use transistors now there is another equation that is collector to emitter voltage vce is approximately equal to VBE plus VBC. So you see this uh, voltage right here, that is a summation of the two voltages, VBE plus VBC. Okay, and uh, we have seen that. Beta is uh, also called as HFE. You will always hear this word from the transistor data sheet. You will see that beta and HFE, they are same. And that indicates your current gain. Now, uh, I have already told you orally, that is, this is base to collector voltage. VBC and uh, VBE is base to emitter voltage and finally VCE is base to collector voltage. So you see, this transistor action helps you to understand uh, 
basic of a bipolar junction transistor or BJT and all the currents and voltage terminologies are important in order to work with the BJT. So that's it about our working.